Hi everyone, in this video I'm continuing to work through question 14 part A of the 2020 extension 2 trial exam from James Roos. I've just in a prior video worked through part 1 of this 3 part question, so if you haven't seen that already, definitely take a look um, because we're going to use the results from that part 1 to help answer part 2. And part 2 wants us to hence, or in other words use what we just worked out, show that Z1, Z2 and Z3 are the vertices of an equilateral triangle. So from this diagram in the R game plane, we can clearly see that they form a triangle. So what we now need to show is, is it an equilateral triangle? And I guess we got two, two key options here. We can either show that all the sides are equal in length, or we could show that all the interior angles are equal, and, and um, in effect we've shown the same thing. So uh, yeah, let's take a look. So I've recreated our argand plane here with our three points and, and what we're being asked to show. And of the two choices in terms of showing that all the sides are equal or all the angles, I think um, it's easier to show that all our interior angles are equal to, to get to our conclusion. And I think, um, I mean the word hence is the real hint here, we're going to use our results from part one. And I think the first result that we can use from part one is that the uh, modulus of this Z3 minus Z1 on Z2 minus Z1, the modulus is equal to 1. So um, what we could write is we could say that the modulus of uh, Z3 minus Z1 on Z2 minus Z1, that's equal to 1. And so from that we can conclude that the modulus of Z3 minus Z1, um, well, I'll just do it in two steps, divided by the modulus of Z2 minus Z1 is equal to 1. And so therefore the modulus of Z3 minus Z1 is equal to the modulus of Z2 minus Z1, because I've just multiplied this up. And so in effect, what, what we've shown is that um, this line here, or this vector Z3 minus Z1, and this line here, Z2 minus Z1, this vector, they both have the same modulus, they both have the same length. And if that's the case, then we're at the very least dealing with an isosceles triangle, so that we know this angle here and this angle here must be equal. And for now I'll just call them um, X as um, some unknown that uh, will eventually hope to solve for so that um, you know we can hopefully eventually show that all three of these angles are equal. All right now the other result from part one that I think is helpful is that um, the argument of, of this complex number is pi on three and so we can say that the argument of Z3 minus Z1 on Z2 minus Z1, that's equal to pi on 3. And then we can use our rule that the argument of two com one complex number divided by another is the difference of them, so therefore we can say the argument of Z3 minus Z1 minus the argument of Z2 minus Z1, that's equal to pi on 3. And um, remembering, remembering kind of what, what we looked at in um, the first part where we kind of thought, well, what's the argument of Z3 minus Z1? What's the argument of Z2 minus Z1? We, we called those alpha and beta. And it might be um, helpful to use a similar, similar um, notation. So I'll just draw my line parallel with the, the real axis. And we had... Um, this whole angle here was alpha and uh, this angle here was beta and so in essence what we're saying is um, alpha, arg, the argument of this line here, minus beta, the argument of this line, alpha minus beta is equal to pi on 3. But notice that this angle that we care about, this angle from here to here to here, from Z3 to Z1 to Z2, that is alpha 
minus beta. That, that is the angle we care about. So um, um, we, we can say that this angle here, being alpha minus beta, is pi on 3. So um, I might turn over at this point, but um, what we can conclude is, um, uh, I guess I'll say it is by the angle sum of a triangle, what we can say is that pi on 3 being this angle here, plus the other two being the x plus the x, plus the x plus the x, they're all going to be equal to 180 degrees, or if we're working in the radians, just pi. So our x plus x will become 2x, and if I bring this pi on 3 over, it'll be 3 pi on 3 minus 1 pi on 3 gives us 2 pi on 3. And then if I divide the 2s, we end up with um, x being pi on 3. And if x is pi on 3, that means this angle and this angle is pi on 3, and we know this angle is pi on 3, we already worked that out. So therefore, all interior angles are equal, they're all equal to pi on 3, and therefore we can draw a conclusion that z1, z2, and z3 are the vertices of an equilateral triangle. So we've shown what we had to show. And the approach we took was just using um, um, all interior angles being equal. Panic boom! All right, so that's how you tackle that question. Um, I think, again, with a lot of these questions that are multi-part, whenever you see the word hence, it's a very strong signal that you want to be using what you've just shown. And I guess um, it's now clear to us why we wanted to work out the mod arg form of this seemingly quite random complex number, it's because the question writer knew that we're going to get a, a modulus of 1, and that, that allows us to work out that um, these first two sides must be equal, and, and things flow pretty nicely from there. So hopefully that's all made sense, and uh, what I'll do is in the next video, I'll start to take a look at part 3. Alright, tick boom!